It's literally 4.25 a.m. I set my alarm for 4 a.m. this morning. I don't know why I did this, but <laughs> I was obviously so excited for the self français. I took French a long time ago. I think it's self français. I also did some Googling of the self français last night. Tell me why did I wake up so early for this? I don't know, but I'm stalking Source Evil's news website and nothing is up because they're updating the server right now. But I did find this in the shop. They've already updated the shop. So let's look at this because I'm bored and it's worrying and I can't fall back asleep, you know? So at this point, we're here. We're just we're just awake. If you're wondering, why is your voice like that? Because I obviously haven't talked yet and since it's 4 a.m., you know? Okay, so from what I can see, they're selling these bundles. Honestly, they kind of look like an updated version of the racing outfits. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a fan of this. There are definitely fits for jumping, which I think is cool and it makes sense. It goes with the horse we got. I love the olive one, I think. And this is the first helmet we have in game that has the little beanie cap I thought that was cool. Kind of like what some people have for, I've only seen people use these for like racing, for horse racing, but who knows? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna regret being awake right now so much in about four hours, but for right now, it feels like the right decision. Okay, see you guys when they update the server finally. Peace and blessings. Almost two hours later, they're being sold at Silverglade Manor for 900 star coins, seven coat colors. Let's see how many I don't buy. And Yorvik Stable has paddock props so we're definitely going to be doing that and there's three different sets and one of the paddock props has one for the cell francais special move and there's new show jumping whoa there's like this is a huge update okay hey guys okay i finally logged on to sso as you can see by the sky it's like pretty early it's like 5 a.m okay so let's go to freaking silverglade manor we're gonna ride there because i've been trying to save up my shillings for the equestrian festival and i've been trying to collect racing ribbons so I can sell them for shillings so I don't have to buy anything with star coins. Look at me trying to be a money saver. I feel like my outfit is not fitting for what we're about to do so <laughs> don't worry. I will change my fit for this event. Don't even worry. Honestly this update is the first one I've been super excited about like this for a while hence why I woke up super early. I also fell asleep super early though because I had a hot yoga class and it freaking destroyed me. <laughs> I was so tired. <gasps> okay, gotta make an entrance. I'm excited there are more warm bloods in the game. There's already a million people. Oh my gosh. Look at this one. <laughs> They're super cute. I just want to look at the idol animations for a second. They're really cute. Oh my gosh. Hey, they kind of have that like cute starter horse animation. And then they have that like aggressive stomp. Is that from like the Frisians or something? I can't remember. Comment if you know what breed this is. I'm really bad at that. It's kind of also like their own thing. What I read about these horses, they're like really intelligent and quick learners. I want to see what Star Stable wrote about this breed. So internationally recognized for its show jumping dressage and three-day eventing skills. It's a superior competition horse. It's known for its special trick, La Corbette. They're versatile, elegant, and intelligent. Yeah, I did read they're really, really smart horses. From what I read on the Google, you know what I mean? Okay, let's look at the breeds. Dude, it's too early. Let's look at the coat colors. Yeah, I don't know what the coat colors are called. There's some really cool ones though. This one is one of my favorites from the Star Stables post. I haven't looked at any spoiler content for this horse because I just don't really like to look at spoiler content that much usually. I prefer to like go and see them when they're completed rather than seeing how they look before they're done, if that makes sense. So they have this coat, one of my faves. I really like the tail animations. This tail is like the most flowy, like nice tail in the game. I don't know if I've ever seen such a swishy tail. Then they have this chestnut. Is it like a flaxen chestnut? Kind of, I don't really know. This one is really nice. It's especially nice with braids. Oh, I love a warm blood and these ones are so nice. They do IRL have like really defined joints and they're like great for jumping. So I think they did a good job on the knees. What do you call knees on horses? Their joints do look very defined. I think they did a good job with that. And they have this bay with a star marking. Ooh, let's look at the main styles really quick. We have this one, this like cropped one. We have the braids. And then there's this one that's really cool. It's kind of like a thinned out long mane. This one honestly reminds me of like a Lusitano mane for some reason. And we always have the fin, the braids, the taller braids that look exactly the same as these ones for some reason to me. And then this one. Okay, then we have this flea bitten gray, which honestly I am obsessed with. I'm obsessed with flea bitten grays. So far, I haven't found one I don't like. <laughs> 
I like them literally all. It does have a very aggressive idle animation, which maybe we'll just say it's an energetic idle animation, which would make sense for this breed. I usually, okay, I usually don't like black horses in this game, but this one is so freaking good. It's literally so good. Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful black horse. I'm gonna buy this horse. <laughs> and I, obviously this one from the promo content from Star Stable. This is an obvious yes for me. I adore this coat color, especially with the braids. Oh my gosh, it's so perfect in every way. They have really natural eye colors, seem realistic, which I kind of like. The face marking, just like the horse's coat looks so natural. It's one of the best paint coats I've seen in this game. The way the jagged edges, like it looks very realistic. There's a lot of details in the horse's face, like the veins and all the muscles. It's a very muscular breed since it is used for jumping and eventing and you can definitely see like all the muscle in the horse's body structure and it's an asymmetric coat which is so nice. This is also absolutely one of my favorite coats. I love the way the face marking is. Like I cannot even, this is my favorite horse on Star Stable right now. I'm making that decision right now. This is my favorite horse on Star Stable. I like the way the eyes are blue but it's not like electric blue. It's like a very natural looking blue. It goes with the horse so well. This is my new favorite horse. I'm gonna buy this one first. Okay, so I had this idea. Dude, what am I supposed to do? I want to buy all of them. Should I buy all of them? I have enough star coins to do it. I think I have to buy all of them. Dude, I think I have to. I don't have a choice. I had this idea that I want to name my horses after designer brands. I've had this list growing for a while. I have seven names. I'm trying to decide which one I want to name this one. And some of the designer brands are French brands, which is fitting for this horse breed since it's a French warm blood. I have to buy this one first. Like, there's just no other option. I think I like it best with the breeds. Um, I'm gonna name this horse Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. And if you don't watch my channel, then you're not aware. I don't use my Yorvik names. I just use nicknames. And I use the Yorvik names just to remind me what my horse's names are. Lily Velvet is gonna remind me this horse is Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton is gonna be... I think a Louis Vuitton is a gelding. Oh my gosh. I just bought a freaking Cell Francais. I'm gonna come back and buy probably all of the horses. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I can't think of a single one I don't want. And I've never had this happen before with a breed. I definitely have breeds where I have all the horses, almost, at least. <laughs> but this one is, oh my gosh, it's amazing. I'm just gonna leave Philip there right now. Oh my gosh, Louis Vuitton. It's so perfect. I really like the trot. I think I was reading online and people were saying they didn't like the trot. I like it. It's a very athletic trot, in my opinion. And it's not like a, as a dressazi trot as the Dutch Warmbloods. Like the Dutch Warmbloods are much more graceful and they have more dressage gates, if that makes sense. Dang it, am I gonna blow all my money on this right now? I really do like this olive set. They have the orange one, looks like this. It looks so freaking good, honestly. And this looks like the Sunset Trail set, which I think is interesting. Um, but I don't really love this color and if I did buy this set, especially for my character, I would buy it with, with shillings later. However, I really do like this set. I'm not really a fan of the boots and I don't know if I need these other things right now, but I definitely want the beanie and the vest. So I'm gonna buy those, but I feel like I have other black pants I could use. These are more cool, exciting items in the game that I like. I also wanna buy, I don't need this saddle bag right now and I don't need this saddle because I don't think it's anything special. I mean, it's a really nice saddle, don't get me wrong, but I'll be saving for that. I am gonna buy the saddle pad though. Okay, cool. Look at me trying to be a saver. It's just because I know I'm gonna buy all horses right now. Don't even get me wrong. Actually, Star Stable gave us these leg wraps with one of the codes that they released and I actually really liked them. I think they were these sage silks open front boots. I like them and they actually matched the set. I wonder if that was on purpose. Okay, it actually took me a long time to find <laughs> all of my stuff. I actually really, I really like the cut of this vest. It's cool because the cut is a little bit higher, which is really flattering on the new characters, I think. At least on my character, but and this little pom-pom is so freaking cute. I'm obsessed with it. I don't know. I feel like the pink hair really suits my character's new mega. Let me know what you think. Not so much with this set, though. Might have to go back to blonde for this outfit because we're trying to be more realistic, you know? I'm the kind of player who changes my hair every single freaking day, so if you're not cool with that, I'm sorry. Okay, let's go test this baby out. Alright, let's care for this horse so I can level it up and we'll do all 
the gates. Is there like a freaking police chase going on right now outside my house? I don't know. I always feel kind of sad when I do these update videos because I don't have time to like level up my horse to level seven. So you guys won't see this special move probably, but I usually post it on my Instagram later that day. Oh my gosh, I love this horse so much. I'm just gonna like give you guys a free a sneak peek from the free gallop. It just feels really powerful. Like from the back of the horse, it's a very like powerful gait if that even makes sense. You can just feel like, I don't know if you've ever ridden a horse that has a lot of speed and a lot of power. It's a way different feel to a horse that's like slower. Does this even make sense? Okay, this is the walk. Very athletic once again. Here's the trot. It's definitely a different kind of trot and it, I don't know, some people were saying it was a reused trot from like the Orvik Pony. I don't even see that. I like it and I like the way the back legs move. It like makes sense to me. Not everyone's gonna like it and that's okay. I wanna see how they like turn, like sharp turn because these horses are supposed to be pretty agile. I really do like the canter. I love the way the character, like look at the character. Am I freaking, I'm not sitting the trot, but like I'm sitting this canter real nice. The character animations look updated to me. What do you guys think? In the way I'm holding my reins, like it's very smooth and fluid. It feels like they updated that. I've never, I haven't really looked at it recently. My character and my horse just look really nice together. This is the slow gallop. Yeah, this horse just has a really powerful gallop. I like it. I really like it. I can also see people hating it, so. <laughs> It looks very realistic to me. The fast gallop, something looks kind of weird to me, but for the most part, I really like all the gates. Okay, let's see the jump, because that's like the most important part of this breed. <laughs> this is what the jump looks like. As usual, my character slides forward on the horse in a weird way, but I'm trying to just look at the horse. <laughs> Look at this person, I'm photobombing me right now. Yeah, it's so nice. I really like it. I like that the legs aren't like together in the jump, but one, one leg is leading. I think that's very realistic. Yeah, to me, this horse is very realistic. And this is what it looks like at the beginning of the jump. So realistic, such a good jump. I really like it. Okay, then the hard stop. It's a nice hard stop. The backup, to me, the backup is not the most important part of a breed. I'd say this is a medium speed backup because horses don't like to back up. Yeah, it's a very energetic rear. Yeah, okay, cool. So we've reviewed this horse. Um, I'm gonna give this horse a rating of 11 out of 10. This is my new favorite breed in Star Stable right now. And I know it's like easy to say the new breed is your favorite. There are some breeds that I'm like, oh, I like this horse. I'll buy a few of them. This is such a good horse. I wanna buy all of them. Let's go do that. Okay, so we have Louis Vuitton. We could call him Louis V or Louie for short. Let's go back to Silverglade Manor. I really was trying not to trailer, but for time purposes, we will. Do I even have enough star coins for this? I need to buy six more. Can I have? Yeah, I have 7,500 star coins. I don't know why I said it or like that. That was kind of weird. The next horse I actually want to buy is this black one. It's really rare for me to buy a black horse on my channel, like a plain black horse, but I like the markings on this one. I like that one foot doesn't have a stocking and it's shiny and it doesn't have a weird tint to it. Could be because they updated the buying screen as well. They updated the background a little bit. I think it's helpful, but it's very subtle. I want to name this horse Prada. How am I supposed to name these horses? Pyred. Prada? I don't know. To me, Prada is a mare and I want braids. I'm probably going to get braids on all of them. Actually, I take it back. I take it back. I kind of like this mane on this horse, so I'm going to do this. And it's free, so can't complain, right? It's so pretty. Okay, the next one that I really, really, really like is this one. I wanna name this horse Dior. And for this one, I want the braids for sure. It has such a cool face marking. I want it to be seen by the world. Dior is gonna be another mare, actually. Let's see what D names we can have. Deer, Dior. I think those are similar. Okay, we have Dior. Oh my gosh. Why am I so obsessed with these, all these horses so much? And then I want to buy this one, of course. I want to name this horse Saint Laurent. That's like a French luxury brand, I'm pretty sure. Saint Laurent. I think that's perfect for this horse. Can you name your horse Saint? How come? How come you can't? Salt. Salt Lord is Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent is a stallion. And of course, braids. Okay, no surprises here. Wow, I'm still buying horses. There's only three left. Next, I'm gonna buy the bay. And this one is also gonna be a stallion. I wanna name this one Coach. How come that's not even an option? For Coach, I kind of want these short braids. We're gonna call this horse Classy because I think it's a funny name and it kind of reminds me of Coach, so it's fun. Both C names. I'll be able to figure it out. Oh my gosh, all of them are so nice. Okay, I have two names left. I have Gucci and Chanel. I think this one's gonna have to be Gucci, the flea bitten. I also really like these short 
short braids on this flea button, so I'm gonna do the short braids. Gloom chip, because it reminds me of Gucci. Please don't hate me after these names, okay? Gucci. Gucci is so pretty, oh my gosh. And we have Chanel. I think this is the Tennessee walking horse mane now that I look at it. Dang it, I like all of the manes on this coat color, but I really do like this one. So I'm gonna do this long one. This one's name is gonna be Chanel. I think I already have a horse named Chance, but I mean, I don't really care. Like, it's just supposed to stand for Chanel. And Chanel will be a, a gelding. Oh my gosh, I just spent all my, I just spent all my star points. The coat is so freaking glossy. It looks very realistic. The muscles on the neck. Like, are you kidding me right now? Okay, we are gonna go look at all our horses right now. <laughs> These are such freaking cute horses. I don't even know like what to say or do about this. Luckily, I emptied my home stable for these horses. I didn't even empty enough spots. <laughs> okay. Oh, I wish I could ride all of these horses literally at the same time. It's upsetting that I can't. Philip, you're gonna have to get out of the way even though I love you so much. Actually, I still have 2,000 star coins. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's totally good. It's all good. I don't know about you guys, but this is the most wonky row of horses anyone's ever made. They're not even straight or anything at all. They're the most crooked and they're just all over the place. <laughs> You definitely don't want to put yourself around say horses next to each other because they kind of get in everyone else's personal space, but it's fine. But it's cool that they kind of leave their own boundaries that much, that they're like moving actually in their idle animations. I think that's cool. So these are my seven self say horses. Chanel, Gucci, Prada, Coach, Dior, Louis Vuitton, and Saint Laurent. I love them. I love them so much. I can't even. Okay, now we need to go do Jarlheim, Jorvik Stables. I mean, we did so much damage buying all those horses, but I have no regrets whatsoever, so it's fine. It's all good. It's all good in the hood, you know? It's fine. I say that so much now, and I hate it too. You're not alone. Okay, I'm excited that they asked added paddock props to this arena. This is my favorite arena in the whole game, actually. So where are the paddock props? Nope. <laughs> Those are just random people. Oh, no, no, no. They're right here. Okay. Jorvik Stables has paddock props. Perfection. Oh my gosh. <sighs> so freaking cool. This will be perfect when I can do the special move, which I can't right now. Oh, they have a beautiful jump. I was actually just, you know, for funsies, watching a video of self Rance's horses jumping and by the way this is a dream for anyone who does rrp or shows or events or dressage or lessons in game like these are the coolest paddock props ever i don't even know how to use half of them because i don't even write english but i know how to use trotting poles and that's it i love like there's a variety of jump heights i think that's so cool anyways i got distracted i was watching videos of self france horses jumping and oh my gosh they are so freaking graceful and i feel like sarah stable did a pretty good job i feel like these are more are these more like cross country like type jumps i feel that way oh my gosh they have so many unique jumps now they're so freaking cool anyways i think they did a good job capturing the way this horse jumps they're like really effortless and like graceful and i feel like they are like that in game too whoa there's some high jumps here wow i was like is this horse gonna clear them and it does it does clear them yeah so it's pretty much like level i like how they ordered the packet props like level one level two level three pretty much like one is trotting poles two is cross country and three is big jumps <laughs> And this is coming from a Western rider. These are big jumps, guys. That's what they're called. That's the actual official term for them is big jumps. Okay, let's go to the new riding arena. 10 out of 10 for that. That was freaking cool. I can't wait to see more flat shows with those jumps. Just saying, next flat show, I want to use this horse. <laughs> my gosh, my computer is about to die because I'm playing on my laptop. It's been a while since they've done anything new at the riding arena. Coco, would you like to try to show jumping course with some new competition rules? Of course. You get faults if you knock poles down if your horse refuses. Wait, your horse can refuse. Are you freaking kidding me right now? That is so cool. Okay, so I wonder like what makes your horse refuse? Like, is it random? Is this gonna be like dressage where I couldn't even finish the reins? <laughs> I couldn't even finish the dressage. So I don't wanna tear down, get my hoof in water, get overtime or refusal. This is so freaking cool, oh my gosh. This is a whole new world of show jumping for Star Stable. I don't, and there's lines to show you how to approach the jump. Okay, that's amazing. This is so cool. Is this the future for Star Stable? Oh, I love this horse so much. This is one of my favorite, like most games have like arrows to show you where like the path to walk. I like this. It looks like glitter and sparkly butterflies, which for me I like because it makes sense for this game. Oh, I just knocked a pole. I kind of want to on purpose refuse a jump and see what it looks like. Ooh! 
oh, is that like, a, okay, well, it's just like running into the jump is a refusal. It just looks the same. I didn't know if my horse was gonna stop before the jump. Just so you guys know, I did that on purpose for the record to test it out. Okay, good job. I'm gonna try to do it with no faults this time. <laughs> I just knocked the whole brick wall. Is that even freaking possible? Okay, cool. So it gives you like feedback on what you did. Nice, but it just lets you do it on an infinite loop like forever. I mean, don't get me wrong. That's super cool. I like how they use this dressage arena for something. Whenever I go in this dressage arena, it reminds me of old clubs dressage, which obviously makes sense. Cool. So this is like a temporary activity in game. The show jumping competition introduces more realistic rules for show jumping. Should I take the survey? I like the new show jumping rules. I strongly agree. I like it better. The rules were easy to understand understand yes i found difficulty of the competition i think it's perfect between the old and new show jumping rules all show jumping competitions should use the new rules my wish for future improvement is i don't know competing against other players will be cool oh and i get 500 x yep we're doing that am i gonna get less horse xp if i don't do well that's the real question i love the butterfly jumps so much they're so cute and i like how if you want more realistic jumps and less like butterfly flowery you can use the paddock props at your stable because those are super realistic just really nice nice i had no faults in that one that was pretty good okay overall 10 out of 10 my gosh louis vuitton is level four when i actually get this special move i want to like put it on instagram or something i can't wait to try out the paddock prop anyways i hope you guys are enjoying the new self francais and i hope you enjoy just seeing me try them out and literally buying all of them no regrets though these horses are incredible like just as good if not better than i expected the coats are really nice too i can't even complain a single thing i like everything about it that's pretty rare i feel like thanks for watching bye